Okay, well, here we go. We've got ourselves a uh, Jackson King V uh, done up in a Warbird style, which is modeled after the German FW190. The FW stands for Folk Wolf. I've heard Faka Wolf. I heard a bunch of different pronunciations throughout the years, so I'm not really sure exactly what it is, but uh, it's F O K K E W U L F 190. And this was a, uh, a very uh, prominent fighter in the uh, earlier stages of the war uh, for Germany and uh, was attributed to quite a few kills, uh, especially on the Russian front. This particular uh, guitar was modeled after one that was uh, involved in the uh, Eastern theater of the war against Russia and not much really to be said other than it's got the typical camo for that day and uh, much like the last one we did, the camo is oftentimes uh, oriented uh, to protect and conceal the uh, airplane uh, while it is on the ground in the airstrip. So. Uh, it's not an obvious target from up in the sky. Uh, one thing in particular uh, about this guitar that maybe a lot of people uh, tend to look at first is the pickups because they're painted along with the rings. I do get an awful lot of questions uh, regarding the painting of the pickups and rings. And um, one, first off, it doesn't really affect the tone. What really affects the tone is people feeling to the need to keep their pickups further away from the strings so the strings don't vibrate and hit the pickups and sometimes marring them. Uh, maybe you're not playing all that aggressively and the strings don't hit, but if you're doing some uh, you know, crazy playing and aggressive uh, right hand picking, the strings can vibrate uh, to the point beyond uh, what, what might be normal and they will possibly come in contact with the pickups leaving an abrasion mark on the clear. So I find that the covers for um, regular passive pickups, they cause more, I think, change in tone from what you're used to due to the fact that um, you do have the thickness of the cover and that will add to the difference uh, or, or the distance between your pickup and the strings. So. I give guys the option um, to paint directly over the pickup bobbins. Uh, in this case, uh, it was a metal case humbucker, and we take out the adjustable pole pieces. So there's no paint on the uh, the parts of the guitar that really, or the pickup that are going to be affected, uh, really in any sort of way. Um, but uh, this one here is ready to go back home. And uh, I will have it to, uh, ready to ship out tomorrow. Let's see, we did the graphics. I typically do the graphics all front, back, and and everywhere uh, on uh, the Warbird stuff that I do. Um, Diana will be releasing um, some of our templates and masking systems for the uh, Warbird paint jobs for those of you who want to try to give it a shot yourself. And uh, we certainly encourage you to do so. And um, she will be making that announcement available uh, soon as everything is uh, organized on that front. She's going through files right now and uh, doing what we need to do to get them ready for cutting on the plotter. So stay tuned for those. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Catch you next time.